my bum is very happy right now. I tell you what, I will not think of twice about the money spent on that. I'd be really interested to, um, if we receive any comments from other female riders. The best way to do is try to do what I think. <laughs> yeah. And then you, when it's in what we call a foam state, you can sit on it, you can go for a ride. Okay. And see what you feel. The and you can come yeah. back and say, oh no. Very good. Yeah, and you can see, so it's kind of, there's all sorts of shades. It's yeah. all different stuff as well. I don't know what oh, you, that's nice. That's Alcantara. Yeah, that's nice and soft, and so you can contrast it with other things as well. Yeah, yeah, you could have like say vinyl sides with an Alcantara top with diamonds or ribs stitched in it, or she's rubbish when you give her options. Too many options. Well, that's good to know. It's gonna be <laughs> rubbish. You may want to limit your offering so that I can make a decision today. <laughs> if I've got too many. Well, you've got to make a decision today, we're going back on a bit of foam. Exactly. Yeah, so exactly. Like, but, but it's what looks nice next to the blue as well, isn't it? Like, like, also, it's how you contrast it with the material. <laughs> Mark up some bits off. I mean, some of them, obviously. It reminds me of the film yesterday. Yeah. Little, only a little bit of that. Yeah, I was going to say, Arkansas Arkansas is expensive. Nice. And that's a leather. I don't know if you're interested in leather. Well, what's best for weather conditions as well i guess it's like yeah we do uh, water seal them and then recommend that you do that roughly every six months a bottle of water seal costs you 15 quid and honestly it'll last you forever you, you get loads of thing out of it but obviously if you're here you'll perhaps see you seal it afterwards anyway different finishes and oh sorry yeah right there just uh, if you went out and just put them up against the bike see what you think Wow. Oh, that's nice, yeah. isn't it? That's one of the most popular ones we do. Yeah, really nice colour. They're more vinyl, though. There's only one leather, right? There's, the, There's yeah, one leather there, yeah, yeah, and one Alcantara, all the rest are vinyl. Do they make, do, does it make a difference to comfort? Do you feel the difference? Uh, really? The material can make a difference to comfort. Uh, say your leather would be firmer than a, than a vinyl. But this stuff we've got, it's not for you, but this stuff we've got here is like really stretchy. So because it's really stretchy, it's more pliable on the foam. Yeah. So the stiffer the material you have on the foam, the, the less pliable it, it becomes, if that makes sense. Make the Alcantara would be would be more grippy than a, than a vinyl. Yeah, yeah, so you're less yeah. likely to slip. I mean, that is what they call this stuff. It's called it's called high grip because it's like they try to make like a suede finish. Oh, yeah. I see. But yeah. you, they call it high grip and you literally, well, I wouldn't say you don't slide around, but I suppose it all depends how hard you brake or accelerate. Yeah. <clears throat> but so that, that was the reason that they made that to sort of look suede and, and grippy. Okay, right, so take these bits. Take those with us. Let's go to Dolly's yeah, diner. Yeah, I mean, you can take them to Dolly's diner and look at them if you want. I can feel the different shape. I'm wondering whether it, <coughs> although my, my legs aren't in the right position, but it feels like, like wider, more into my legs.
Um, yeah, I don't know. Did you? Yeah. But I'm not like, I'm not in the, I'm not in the right position because that feels better as soon as I put here. Yeah. There's a massive difference or like already with my lady parts. <laughs> That's recorded for posterity. Huh? That was yes. recorded. Of course it was. Excellent. I can feel the little um the gel or the, the indent pressure uh, relief section. Oh it feels take the bump. The whole point is to take oh, the yeah, seat. Sorry. Oh, it's a massive difference. Is it? Yeah. The disc in the middle, the channel in the middle, I can feel that's different. And um yeah, just generally it feels much, much more comfortable. Uh, yeah, it's here, maybe. All right, so first impressions. So we've, we've only gone around the corner so far, yeah. but I think the key piece to be aware of is this the dip. slight dip here for pressure relief in the very <laughs> important lady part where I have the most discomfort actually. So straight away, it's obviously, it's, it's more, it's softer all round anyway. But the fact that there's the, that, that comfort bit there makes a massive difference. So What's cool about the corner. concept here is that we just did a pre a preset for you to go and try, yeah. giving some feedback. And then if it's nice, you can cover it and do the back seat as well. If you need some adjustment, you can make some adjustments on the phone before getting to the next stage. And you can you can see as well if you look from here, he's mapped more the yeah the lines the line of the tank with the line of the seat. It wasn't as symmetrical and smooth, and also brought this up so that it matches more. It was a really big like mm -hmm. step up, so he smoothed out that around. The back feels nicer. W the the whole seat feels more I don't know um, molded like more saddle like so in posi when I'm sat I feel like there's a particular like right place to be sitting now I was just shifting around and wriggling around a lot all the time I, I suppose to try and get more comfortable I'm just wondering what I, I do feel is this this ridge whether you should go more like inside here and kind of join it's here it's more that it just it feels quite um, like there's a ridge there against um, my thighs yeah, so I see what you mean oh yeah yeah it's whether that can be that bit, slightly like the round bit, the top bit, right? The cliff. Yeah, it just like I can feel that ridge quite noticeably. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I see what you mean. Um, but that part is nice, then. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, this is very welcoming. Right, let's go. I tell you what, that makes a huge difference. Yeah. So you know, if you rev high, you know, it really feel the vibrations mm -hmm. and with this new seat I don't feel it. So that's just because that would just be flat Alcantara and then okay. it'll be like so that will be like that if you get what I mean stitched in okay. and then they'll just be lying stitched in like that.
change it, yeah, and the cover obviously. Yeah, definitely. Quite nice. Next foot, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah, my bum is very happy right now. Already? <laughs> You're in a big bowl. Well, it is a massive difference. I can really tell the difference. The, um, the damping of the vibration and uh, relief of pressure. Yeah, okay. it looks good as well. It's significant, but I really love the way it looks. I love the brown and the blue. So, all in all, pretty happy and really happy that it was done in a day. Yeah, that was cool, like quick in, quick out. Um, done in a day, and we got to see like the work that went into it. Yes. It's very cool. Yeah, I think sometimes people kind of think, you know, it's expensive or it's not, but like, you know, once you see all the work that goes into it, uh, the back and forth, uh, the material, like how much do you tell us for the Alcantara? He buys it for eight, about 110 pounds a meter. Yeah. Um, know and uh, so yeah that was really cool to see kind and of the, and the thoughtfulness it wasn't just a direct like swap of the seat or just a quick cover it was thinking about like the shape and so my seat is now slightly reshaped to fit me much nicer mm -hmm. slightly raised and um, also the way the the back section of the saddle, what do you call that bit? Uh, the pillion seat? Oh, the, the yeah, the pillion seat. The way the, the two seats fit together much more snugly to just look nicer. So like little extras like that. And like you were saying to us, you couldn't get that if you posted your seat off. Yeah, but it's a bit hit and miss, right? It's like you don't have you can't see the bike necessarily, the lines, the way they go, and or the person sat on it. Yes, exactly. They make the adjustments afterwards. Yeah. yeah. Pretty cool experience. Well, it was. We arrived at nine, and we're leaving at three. We had a lovely photo around. It's a nice day out, isn't it? And, uh, the weather is here. We're going right here. <laughs> I feel like this is like when um, I went from no heated grips to heated grips and no heated vest to heated vest and now I'm like, oh my god. I, do without so I have all the comfort. How does the brown look? It looks really cool. I mean like we don't see much from the back. I will look, look in front of you. Maybe. Uh, it looks really nice. I like the effect and uh, when it kind of we arrived immediately, that's the first thing we saw, isn't it? So I filmed some of it with the phone. Um, yeah, it's a nice color combo and at least like your bike won't look like any other CB650R uh, out there. I do think it adds, um, adds a bit of color and it was something that I wanted left. to do right from the beginning. And I have to say I was feeling quite worried about the long distance riding and the rally and everything with how much I was being quite aching and sore and uncomfortable while riding when we've gone for longer rides and like wow. while riding the distraction mm. from the discomfort was significant and it was actually making me start to think have I bought the wrong bike but now, I'm not thinking that anymore. This has been a, a very worthwhile investment. I'd be really interested to, um, if we receive any comments from other female riders about um, discomfort on longer rides, because I haven't seen anything about it online. And I yeah. think it impacted me so much. Is that a taboo, you think? Or? <laughs> 
don't know, I guess I'm not sure quite how to, how to politely talk about it. What's the extra channel in the middle of the saddle, uh, the seat, that I now have? Holy moly, it makes a difference. You'd think that maybe manufacturers, the same way they propose, they offer like seats for taller rider, like taller seats or lower seats, yeah. just to accommodate they for size. They should have women. They have a gender kind of. Yeah. They should have like the women friendly seat. So actually, yeah. I should also mention that I went max on comfort options. Did you? So. Or did you go the whole thing? Gel. It's gel line and also the you know sponge comfort sponge layer comfort, as well. Yeah. So, so you went all in on the comfort. You could do one. I think you could do less than that. But what did you say? You said like gel was more for the long distance. Uh, yeah, because I think it's the gel that um, dampens the vibrations, mm. and that is noticeable. Like it's incredible. Really incredible the difference actually. Yeah. It's been a worthwhile day out for sure. These bad boys. These bumps again. Bring it, that's what I say. And deal with all the bumps now. Oh, I like deep country. <laughs> I tell you what, I will not think it twice about the money spent on that. Let's wrap it up here then. Look at that guy, he was jealous of my seat. He just said hello to you. Yeah, he said hello, nice seat. Thank you for watching, I guess, guys. See you on our next adventures next week. Don't know where it's going to be yet. Oh, or well, next time, yeah, I don't know. And like Vic said, ladies, if you have some experience around uh, with regards to seat comfort or discomfort and you want to well, share with us how you kind of went about all trousers, yeah, that's a new a whole other For topic, women, I guess. My goodness. Um, so share your yeah, kind how you deal with that. Maybe in the comments, maybe in the private messages, if you prefer having private conversations. But we are genuinely interested for your solutions because we are only scratching the surface of exploring uh, the realm of comfort for ladies sitting on a motorbike for hours on end. And with that said, see you next time.